Hello gang, Skypilot here, welcome to my channel. It is Beta FPV Friday and tonight I've got a fabulous announcement. If you are a big fan of the 95X V3, you guys are going to be in for a real treat. I have a special delivery in here that will certainly bring a smile to your face. Let's crack on in. As you can tell by the title guys, you already know what this is, so it's not a massive surprise. This is the just released Beta FPV Pavo 25 Whoop Quadcopter. First of all, let's have a look inside the box. This is the DIY kit, and the beauty of this Pavo 25 is it is super duper simple to hook this thing together without too much hassle at all, as it only requires the six screws. Inside the box, you will be presented with a very handy assembly guide, our beta FPV support QR code card, always handy, a plastic bag containing your SMO4K camera mount, uh, and another mount to mount your Firefly X or something similar. There's some 3M double sided tape. We'll get to that shortly. A couple of battery straps, velcro straps, oh, pretty useful stuff. And a bag containing various nuts, bolts, screws, camera mount screws, etc. that you're going to need. Yeah, it comes with a CNZ Vista adapter, so you can easily attach your Vista system to this unit, which is really, really good. Micro USB 90 degree connector and some cabling and of course the frame kit we'll get back to that shortly color choice is yours for either red or black this goes around the sides which is obviously applied with your 3m double-sided tape so you can pick the color you want so it's pretty good but what is this whoop exactly well it's a two and a half inch sign whoop uses 1404-4500 kV motors anywhere from a 750 to 850 uh, milliamp 4S battery and you can either go digital or analog with this the CNC Vista adapter here is actually specially designed so it can dissipate heat from that Vista unit um, which reduces heating up so it keeps it nice and cool which is going to be really good for those long flights if you're going to be running a digital. The base mount here, uh, two and a half mil carbon fiber. The duct design allows for this quad to give it really, really generous lift. And in conjunction with its incredibly light and strong build, I think this thing's going to fly really well. Injection molding looks really strong, really, really very strong frame. I think I could throw this against the wall half a dozen times and it won't even crack. Super, super strong, nicely built, uh, internally molded screws in there for your six screws to put this together with whatever hardware you like inside. Pretty cool. There are different variations of this that you can buy. You can go plug and play with either the HD digital VDX system or the analog system. Or finally, you could get your kit and put it together yourself, which will, of course, save you a little bit of money and give you a, a fun experience at the same time. And for all you scale junkies out there, we'll do a dry scale with just the frame itself and a super light 50.7 grams total weight with all of the factory insides in it ready to fly is 153 grams i'm going to be flying this directly in comparison with the 95x v3 i've got the express lrs light receiver in mine i'm going to be running the same hardware on the pavo 25 i'll most likely attach my gps as well and we'll take them both out and have a fly. See how they both put see how they both perform next to each other. A quick intro guys, the Pavo 25 just been released. 
as I said, please check out the links below. Go to the Beta FPV website. Have a look for yourself. Stay tuned. I'm going to get myself some hardware very shortly. I've just ordered some components so I can complete this build myself. So I have two working units for a uh, direct out in the field comparison to see which one is going to perform better. Thanks again to my good friends at Beta FPV. Much appreciated. See you guys soon. Have a 25. What a ripper.